Today, I have a simple tutorial for you. I will be creating a custom dialog in SwiftUI. It will look like this. I'm building my video editing app and I need a dialog to ask user for photos permission. I could just use a regular alert view, but since the photos dialog already looks like an alert, I thought that having a custom view would be a much better option here. Let's get started. Okay, so before we begin inside the Apple human interface guidelines, there is this section about the accessing private data. And here, in this section, pre-alert screens, you can check and see uh, what Apple is recommending. So essentially, if you, for example, would like to access user photo, it is nice to uh, first like show a screen or a dialogue, an alert, with information why exactly you would like to do this, why it's like the purpose of, of the screen. Why are you actually asking user to, for example, provide photos and videos for this app? So as you can see, there is like information, so we should like include one button and make it clear that it opens the system alert. So after user will check the screen, read all of the information, then click continue or next, the system pop-up will show up. So that's the idea. And for the video editing app, I think that <laughs> presenting this uh, dialogue and telling the user that he needs to provide access for photos and videos is rather like straightforward, but I thought that it still would be nice. I will create like a very simple dialogue with the information that I need to like access photos. So it will not be like the whole screen. I will just create basically like a simple dialogue. So it will be a simple dialogue with the title, some description inside this dialogue, like short text and the button below and when the user will tap the button, the action will be invoked. And then you can just like ask for permission or basically in this dialogue, I think that I will also use this inside my app in other places. And also there will be a button to close the dialogue. If for example, your user will not want to click on the, on the button. The background can be adjusted. We can just create a, a dimmed black background or maybe white. And also when the background will be tapped, the dialogue will go away. So yeah, this is like a very simple, let's go to the Xcode. Inside the Xcode right now, I have a basic project. There is just like one button here to show the pop-up and the custom dialog. It is right now empty. So yeah, let's start and let's create the dialog. So let's maybe start with adding the things that we will be providing to this dialog. So we definitely need a title, a message, we can also like uh, add the button title. So I, I'm creating a, a custom dialogue that I need, but uh, this one will also be used in other places inside the app. Right now, there will be just like one button to tap, uh, but in the future, I can just extend this to add more button. Also, maybe the message will be extended and like I will add additional view that will be presented instead of the message. But for now, let's uh, let's add. We also need to add uh, an action closure. So when the button will be tapped, this action closure will be invoked. So let's add action. Just a simple uh, closure. There's like nothing uh, is actually passed. I'm just like invoking the, the closure. Okay, let's fill this one. Let's close this. For the text, yeah, let's have access photos. Okay, so we have title, message, and the button title. Let's create them. As you can see, it is by default centered, and that's nice. We would like to have our dialog centered. Let's style this a little bit. Maybe a second one. Make it a little bolder and let's add a little padding by like the default one. Let's add message. Oh yeah, we need to add the VStack because as you can see right now, our views are in the separate uh, views. So let's add VStack here. So we have one text and the second one and let's add the button. Button with action. So right now we need to add the action. 
actually we could add our action because we already have the closure so it will be invoked and for the button let's create a rounded rectangle with a text so it will be this nice rounded rectangle with corner radius around the rectangle with the corner radius let's say 20 and let's add a background color maybe red it will look nice <laughs> right now as you can see the rounded rectangle took the whole available space but that's fine we will fix it in a, in a minute and let's add the text button for this or the text with the button title let's make this a little smaller and let's change the the background color because uh, right now it's like the default one the white will be better and let's add some padding the default one and uh, yes as you can see here is the button so it's like not visible it should be over our rounded rectangle so we need to wrap this in the z stack so in this case as you can see our text with the button title is over our rounded rectangle so this is nice we can also like add some padding for this one so it will not be like edge to edge and right now as i said uh, this one is like taking the the whole space uh, let's add a fixed size for the for the whole v stack so it will be a little smaller so we could use the fixed size for the horizontal and vertical and because horizontal uh, it is fine let's make it false and vertical let's make it true so as you can see for the vertical size it will be constrained and right now it looks much much better let's also add some padding the default one here yeah it start, started to look a little more like a dialogue we could also for this one add a uh, around the rectangle for the whole uh, the v stack so let's make this uh, clips this one the clip shape so it will set uh, the clipping shape with the the one that we will provide so we could put here our around the rectangle with the same corner radius as we have here with the corner radius 20 and for this one in order to actually see it uh, let's add uh, some shadow as you can see the shadow only applies to this button uh, we need to add the background with a color so right now the v stack have a background and we are applying the clip shape with our rounded rectangle so we have the corners and then we are applying shadow to those we can add some more padding so this will not be like edge to edge it will look a little better okay so our view for the dialogue is <laughs> almost there uh, we also would like to add uh, a button here so for user to not only to have this button but user could also tap the close button here so let's add an overlay here So we would like to create a button here, so on the top right corner. So what we need to do is like to create a V stack. So because okay, let's create a button first, and then I will show you how to position it because that way it will be like much more obvious. So let's create a button with an action. Here we will add additional function to close the view. So right now let's create a button uh, with an image let's use the sf symbols there is this x mark this one would be nice as you can see here is the button it is centered as usual in the swift ui let's also uh, change the tint to black it will look much better okay we have a button so now we would like to go to the right and to the top so first what we can do is to use the v stack move this one and add a spacer here so this way it will just push the spacer will push our button to the top and then we can wrap it inside the h stack and add the spacer here 
so the spacer will push our button to the right side and yeah it's inside the corner let's add a padding here to our v stack and yeah we have a nice button inside the top right corner okay so now we need to add some animations and present this dialog so right now the dialog is just here uh, but we will add this to our previous screen and also we would like to we would like to slide it from bottom to the center so let's add additional offset that we will use to actually animate it okay let's increase this to 1000 so our dialog right now is in the center and we will add an offset let's add offset here so on the x-axis nothing's happening we would like to the dialog to stay here but on the y-axis we would like to move the offset the dialog so as you can see right now the dialog is gone and in order for the dialog to show let's add on appear and change the offset to zero so for the on appear with an animation let's use for example the spring and right now when we will change the offset to zero as you can see dialogue just showed up with an animation so in order to actually close the dialogue we just need to change the offset and yeah we will also add additional variable to set it to inactive but for now let's create this close function so the same with an animation we can use the same spring and change offset to let's say 1000 so here for our inside our close button we can just call the close function and as you can see when you will tap it the close button the animation the dialogue will go away with an animation what would be really nice to have is when user will tap on the background here the dialogue will also go away so let's add a background here and let's add a tap gesture to the background. So we need to add the Z stack first, wrap the whole view with the Z stack. Whoops, this one. Let's add the color. You can use any color you would like to have and also change the opacity. I would like for users to still see like what's behind the dialog so I will just create this white background with an opacity. You need to, unfortunately, uh, you cannot just like use clear. I just wanted to use clear, but in this case, after we will add tap gesture, it will not work. So we need to have white background with like at least some opacity. And for the on top gesture, let's add the close. And right now, when we will tap here the background it will go away it will be closed you can also change it to black and add some more opacity so it will be so it will be less visible and it will still work of course don't forget to to add the ignore safe area because otherwise it will be visible so right now on the whole screen we have the dialog okay last but not least we need to connect this dialog to our first screen this one the content view and after this will tap show pop-up the pop-up will be presented so in order to do this let's add binding variable and yeah don't forget to set it to false inside the closed function so we so it will be dismissed and we also need to fix our preview okay and now let's add it let's create a state and let's create our custom dialog here we can just copy those 
from here and just like post it here. So right now, if this one is active, if this one is true, we are passing this information and binding it to the custom dialog and presenting the dialog. And of course, here inside the button, we need to set it's active to true. Okay, let's build this and check inside the simulator. So right now we are tapping show pop-up. We see the dialog. We can tap give access. And as you can see, it will print past the view model. So we can just connect the view model and do the action here. We can dismiss the dialog with the X button. We can also dismiss the dialog by just tapping here on the background. And we could also add to the dialog that if you will give an access or like tap the, the button, this one action, we also will close we'll also close our custom dialog. So here we are giving access and this one is also closed. So as I said, this one is very simple. In the future, I will also add more buttons or like a set of buttons so you can expand this and adjust. Also the text here is just like one line, the message. You can also expand this and add additional view so this dialog will be much more flexible. That's all what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.